Welcome back to another episode of Watching Shoes. The watch is the bronze subaquanoma with a wooden face. The shoe is the fry boot. Wing tip. Leather uh, throughout. A little bit of suede on the side. Trying to run through some of these garments that I missed in the polo review. Um, this is a windbreaker slash raincoat. I use it for just about both windbreaker and a raincoat. Um, this is by RLX 67. It was just really really functional oriented um stylish various materials used really thought this jacket was the bee's nest when i purchased it probably close to 10 years ago it's got the uh breathability going on back there that goes right to the that's a hole not a mesh so it goes right to your back it's got the uh, hoodie that you can zip in to get it away from you. It's got the little hidden pocket here. Um, zip up. It's got the side pocket here. I was a huge fan of this jacket. Uh, I don't wear it very often now, but... I used to wear it a lot. I actually wore this jacket to Africa uh, two months ago. It's very light, and when I travel, I like to look for the lightest materials possible. That way you can fit way more in your uh, travel without checking a bag. I travel six months on end, and I do not have check bags, just carry-ons, but I have very, very light fabrics when I travel. But uh, there you have that one. This is also an older garment. I bought two of these. I was so impressed with them. Just the most comfortable jogging pants. And they were made to, um, as you can see the quality going in. They were made like a really high-end pair of pants. Which, if you do everything that a high-end pair of pants has done, then you become a high-end pair of pants. And uh, it's no different with these. Three latching systems there, one for there, one for there, and one for there. Like a very high-end pair of pants. This is also polo. And they didn't, I was getting this on a really good deal, but the price outside of the deal was way out of my league. So that was pretty cool. So like I said, I doubled up and I uh, ended up getting two or three of these really comfortable nice pants you see the back pockets there and that button all right there's the old hat i got a lot of compliments from this hat um i've already done a review on it but before i uh got that review i mean after the review um i've just been getting a lot a lot of compliments on this hat so, there are people just stopping me, and one lady said, I'm, she's so sick of guys wearing baseball caps. There was a time, I mean, and you just hear rants about how delighted people are to see me show up with this hat on. <laughs> so, that's always fun. It's something different, and that's what people say. That is one unique hat, man. And uh, cool. Appreciate that, they, that you see the art in it. Uh, that's always cool. Um... This one, Argyle, I'm not sure what they call this. This is not called Argyle. Like, they call this a bunch of different things. But uh, I just like the fact that you can see the weave going in, woven material that is hand-knitted. And uh, I think there's a place in Europe that makes these. And if you use that name, it's not really genuine if it didn't come from there. Uh, so to avoid all of the trolls that were rushing and say that's not what this is let's just call this a knitted garment 
but really well done. Always like to see the consistency going from the shirt to the arms, whether it's a suit jacket or a sweater or anything. So that, for me, may not be for everybody, but for me, that's a sign of intentional design and quality. So I always like to see that matching up. This is something that I didn't know existed. This is just a silk sweater. I know about silk shirts. I have a silk shirt or two, but I did not know they make silk sweaters. So this was not an expensive polo piece. It was just unique. So if I see something that I don't have and I, or never heard of, probably going to get my money. And this one, fortunately, like I said, didn't cost much. But you can see it's woven or knit and suede on the interior. This looks like bone. I should say horn. I keep saying bone in these videos. This looks like a horn material. So they did a lot to make you think it was a horn. It was a successful job because that's the look that I would appreciate. And that's it. Just a silk. Let's see if it says it there. I don't know what that says. Let's try to zoom it in. Autofocus is uh, doing it when it wants. Hong Kong. It just says made in Hong Kong. What does it say? Maybe underneath here. I'll try to look under there. Yeah, that's usually where it goes. 100% silk. So, really, really unique for me. I don't have any silk sweaters. I've seen some silk added to sweaters and silk added to this and that, but a full-blown silk sweater. It's new news to me. I didn't know they were doing that. So, I've never worn this. But I've talked about it in a bunch of polo videos, so I said, wow, finally get an opportunity to actually put that in a video. Go ahead and get, grab it and do it. This one, once again, we're talking about the uh, consistency from the shoulder to the uh, body of the garment. I always appreciate that. And this one is done with flawless execution. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, African and or Native American feathers that you'd wear on a hat so representing the sun um so really cool really really cool now this one i think they would call this a ladies garment i could not give a hot dog on uh if it fits me <laughs> and i like the pattern i like the materials i like the quality i like the craftsmanship uh sold and that's what the case was with this one very very thick garment i did a review you can check down in the previous video of polo uh, garments in one of my first reviews and it showed uh it's like 20 20 minute video but it did show a very very heavy polo garment this sweater is similar in thickness uh the material is different that one was full-blown wool this one has got a lot going on more than wool but you can see how they were built this how the colors change and that's how they get the color changes as opposed to a print. I'm all, all about that. But uh, this one is not uh, wool like that one is. It's 45% wool, 30% acrylic, 25% alpaca. So completely different makeup. So that's probably why it's not as heavy. As my other garment but as far as the thickness goes it's it's comparable not as thick either but it's comparable and uh i i tend to associate knitting and thickness with quality so if it's really thick and it was clearly knit i, I tend to consider that to be a quality garment thanks for hanging out with your boy one more time this is another uh video of watching shoes but we're going through sweaters and uh, garments Again, I'd like to do a shout out to uh, Phil's Fashion because I kind of branched outside of my norm just by watching his videos on various pieces of uh, just quality pieces. So you might want to check that out, Phil's Fashion. And uh, like I said, thanks again for watching another video and appreciate the likes and the subscriptions. Have a good one. See you on the next one.